Welcome back to Life is Strange, Before the Storm. We've just taken a mysterious train journey with Rachel Amber and ended up in a park. Rachel wanted to use this viewfinder, used her last quarter on it, and it turns out it's actually out of order. This whole day is out of order, but in the best possible way. So, let's see if we can MacGyver something up. Also, we got a text message from Mikey. Let's see. Sorry about Drew. Not your fault. My brother's not always an asshole. Just most of the time? Forget it. Drew. Who's Drew? Was that that, uh, jock asshole? Rachel's quarter is still trapped in there, waiting to be set free. Huh. Looks like I might be able to pry it open with the right tool. Oh yeah, looks like someone else has already tried. Oregon White Oak. Damn, that's an old tree. Wait, does this sign say butt rot? Wait, does it? Let's read it. Culmination State Park's iconic white oak tree is one of the oldest in the Pacific Northwest. Its curved, chair-like growth pattern reflects the Native American custom of shaping such trees to mark trails or denote areas of cultural importance. Estimates age the trees at 400 to 450 years old. Though interior butt rot... <laughs> it, does, it does say butt rot. Though interior butt rot prevents more accurate analysis. The scar on the northern end of the trunk attests to the tree's survival of a direct lightning strike approximately 200 years ago. Impressive. Trunk cross-section. The narrow rings indicate times of drought, disease, or regrowth from wildfire. Interesting facts. Formed into a trail tree, height 42 feet, and a diameter at breast height 64 inches and 400 to 450 years old. The lonely oak looks lonely. Guess even trees have outcasts. That is the look of a person who is used to getting what she wants. Wonder what that feels like. Looks like this one might actually be working. Alright, so we're looking for a tool of some sort to pry that thing open. Dwight Mueller really killed it with this statue of an explorer guy. Where are all my explorer ladies at, though? Probably at home, washing laundry and spitting out kids. Fuck you, Dwight. It's graffiti, Dwight. Don't axe, don't fell. <laughs> this Blackwall guy sure liked founding stuff that was already there. Founders keepers, I guess. Blackwell's expedition. This spot marks the terminus of Ezekiel Blackwell's expedition westward to found the townships of Culmination and Arcadia Bay. On March 14th, 1838, Blackwell and group of Pentecostal settlers left Independence, Missouri for Oregon. On March 3rd, 19, or 18, 90, 1839, Blackwell's expedition arrived at Overlook Park. Upon seeing the Pacific Ocean from this location, Blackwell determined the expedition concluded and founded the town of Culmination. The group later returned south to found Arcadia Bay so named for Blackwell's veneration for the area's natural beauty and desire to live in harmony with its native peoples. Desire to live in harmony with its native peoples. I find that very, very hard to believe. Culmination Peak. Renamed Culmination State Park was designated as a state park in 1997 by order of Governor John Kitzeber. Kitzeber. 
Northwest Valor statue built in 1992 celebrating culminations sesquicent what does that say? Sesquicentennial. Sesquicenten- what? Dwight Mueller, designer. I have never seen that word in my life. Sesquicentennial. Sesquicentennial. Huh. Yuck. Cliché much, A.W. and B.W.? Aw. And bois. If Max were here, she'd probably take a black and white photograph and call it Innocence Lost, or some shit. Squirrels! Very, very trusting squirrels. It looks like they're... Hmm. Having a private little conversation. Worried about eavesdroppers. Well, guess what? I'm eavesdropping little squirrels. <laughs> they don't move at all unless you press the scare button. Squirrels would never let you get this close unless they were, like... Domesticated? Is domesticated even the right word? I don't know if you can domesticate squirrels. But, you know, if they didn't grow up around people, they would not let you get this close. I guess nature doesn't quite provide. Get out of here, woodland creatures. Have some self-respect. This trash can is in pretty high demand. Bye, you fools. I was about to say, are the squirrels going to come back? <laughs> oh my god, I love it. I guess nature doesn't quite provide. I wonder if I could use this to get the quarter out. In honor of Martin Lewis Prescott, Arcadia Bay's greatest son. Mm-hmm. I don't know I'm supposed to go all the way over there to a couple people having a picnic. Tools probably somewhere else. Oh, those aren't steps. Hmm. Maybe it is all the way over here. Maybe I can ask this. Saying sorry all morning. I admit it was really dumb to lock the keys in the car. You've been on me for three hours. Maybe I can nab their fork. Hey, spare some change. <laughs> Sorry, we might have some leftover food when we're done. What? No, I'm not. What kind of food? This place has really gone downhill. Shh. She's right there. That wasn't awkward at all. My hierarchy of needs goes pot, then beer, then wine. Still, wino has a classy ring to it. I wish I could zoom in. I'm pretty sure you wonder could... if I can get that quarter out of the viewfinder. Pretty sure you could do that in the other Life is Strange, but I tried pressing every button on the controller, and I don't think you can. Nice view. Yep, it's official. I'm learning way more ditching school than I ever do in class. A Zalishan tribe totem pole. The raven stands for transformation. Its grinning face betrays its trickster spirit. The raven has many ancient stories among the Salishan and other native peoples. Some say the raven helped create the first man. The raven is to be respected, never trusted. Whoa, that's badass.
Wait, is that the same AW as before? Not afraid of commitment, I see. Now, Chloe said, wonder if I can use this dedication plate to open the thing, but I didn't see any I wonder if I could way to take it. To get the out. No, I think she just meant she wants to mess it up, and I do too, but I can't take it. Uh, I'm thinking about prying open that viewfinder. Got a knife on you? A knife? Yeah. My mom took mine. Uh, no. How about a nail file? Yeah, that should do. I guess you could stab someone with a nail file. Oh, right. Sh sure, let's try it. Victoria? Chloe Price? I heard some fucked up shit from Nathan about you. Who do you think you are? He doesn't need you, you dumb fuck up. Go back to your trailer. By the way, Rachel Lamper obviously played you last night. You'll be lucky if she ever talks to you again. Oh shit, why didn't I see that? I'm so hurt. Just the beginning, bitch. Oh yeah, Rachel would never talk to me again, ever. Hey, Rachel. Damn it. It always looks so easy in the movies. I wonder if I can find something sturdier to use. Oh, maybe I can use the placard. Maybe I use the nail file to get the placard off. Mm-hmm. Why did Chloe just throw that on the ground? Isn't she gonna give that back to Stealing Rachel? a dedication plate takes... Persistence. <laughs> Steph. Hey, heads up. Wells is on the warpath. Oh no. Oh. Oh no, sarcastic. Seriously, just trying to help. Yeah, right, you killed me this morning. That's what the GM does, dude. Also, thanks for playing with us. Mikey had a blast. He's cool. He's been down lately. Not sure why. But I know playing with you really meant a lot. Where'd it go? Huh. I guess Rachel must have bought one of those one-time use nail files. Press got power, activate. I don't want to boast, so I'll let you do it for me. Chloe Price, you are truly the viewfinder whisperer. I stand in awe of your powers. Rachel smells like... Jasmine? Is she smelling me right now too? Really should have showered this morning. All right, here's the game. You find some people for us to spy on, and then you and I will act out what they're saying and thinking. That's it? I do that in my head during, like, every class. See? You're a natural. Let's give it a try. Anything other than the grill? Speedwalker. Hanging out on the computer and a patch of grass. What can I do the woman by the tree, though? Hmm. Hey, 
Hey, what do you say we barbecue some squirrels when we're done here? God, you just have the best ideas. Ooh, what's this? That's a neat statue. Actually, actually, it's kind of scary. They totally stole my third grade art project. Wow, you made that? Can't you tell? It does have a certain give zero fucks quality that I recognize. Yeah, the just the way the limbs look, I don't know, kind of like spiky and weird and disturbing. Let's see. Why do we always hold hands like this? Didn't you tell me you were ambidextrous? No, I didn't. I said I was ambisexual. Oh, so you can have sex with both of your hands? Exactly. Wanna see? Only if you let go of my hand first. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on with these two? And the Lord saideth, Thou shalt make a burnt offering of your firstborn son. Who are you talking to, Dad? No one, son. Now, lean into the grill and see if the fire started. Further. <laughs> Further. Wow. That was dark. Too dark. Perfect dark. Sweet beanie. What do you suppose she's thinking? Nature's Wi-Fi sucks. Maybe there's a squirrel family around here with broadband. If only I can guess their password. We love nuts, 69. Dingoes ate our babies, 13. Too soon. <laughs> <laughs> This is fun. Who's next? Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to hog the viewfinder. Something creepy going on? Ooh, <laughs> jackpot. Commence makeout session in three, two, one. Nailed it. Damn, they are really going at it. Oh, just the way Rachel was looking made me think, like, maybe they knew the person or something. Oh, honey. I think we used the vibrating bed for too long. I'm totally seeing double. <laughs> Rachel? Hey. Yeah, some, yeah, something's going on. Are you alright? What are we doing? Excuse me? Last I checked, you're supposed to be Chloe Price. Yet we've been ditching now for hours, and we haven't even gotten wasted yet. That's got to be against some school ditching rule. I don't know. I might still be hungover from last night. Wrong answer. You don't ask a girl out and then and then not buy her a drink. It's odd. It's like a switch just flipped. They have a bottle of wine. Let's steal it. Uh, okay. Or we could go try to find a liquor store instead? No. You shouldn't bring alcohol to a public park if you're not willing to share it with everybody, right? And... Fuck it. I just want to take something that's not mine. Alright. I'm going in. Try to keep up. Um, can we help you? <sighs> oh my god! Holy shit! Talk about committing to a performance. Better act fast. What, what do we do? Should we check her pulse? Didn't you used to be a lifeguard? Give her CPR! Yeah, Oh, 
Oh, thank God. Please, this girl is in trouble. Go get help. I need to get these two to focus on Rachel so I can swipe the wine. What are you waiting for? Go! Don't look at me. Look at Baywatch over here. Aw, uh, I don't remember how to do CPR. Wah. It's time to nut up or shut up. Watch out. I'm going to check her pulse. That's on her neck, right? I still think you should go get help. There's a ranger station on the other side of the park. Good point. We'll keep watch while you go. Uh, uh, look at all the time we've wasted already. This woman needs mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. Stat. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Definitely needs mouth-to-mouth. -mouth. Okay. Okay. Oh, you God. can do this. Chloe, that's so mean. I can't do it. Pathetic. Look, he's clearly useless. This woman needs help from someone who actually knows what they're doing. What's that unlock your potential thing? Hey, look at me! Do you want to be locked out of the car of life forever? Or are you ready to break in there and seize the keys to your potential? Oh my god. You're right. Hey, wow, I'm all better now. You saved my life from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Yeah, good work, everyone. Peace out. That was incredible. You're a hero. Huh, I guess I am. What in the fuck did we just see? Here, you earn this. That was so bizarre. <laughs> that was so surreal. I I can't imagine anybody would actually act that way. That was just so strange. No, thanks. You're the one who really worked for it. Suit yourself. I am excessively sober right now. Right. Okay. Guess we're leaving now. Rachel Amber reminds me of Laura Palmer from Twin Peaks. She's thought of by like everybody as the cool one and like the perfect one. Right, like everybody loves her. But she's also kind of bent on a path of self-destruction. Someone who has the secret life that almost nobody actually gets to see. I guess Chloe is the James Hurley to to Rachel Amber's Laura Palmer. <laughs> <laughs> 